Alrighty guys, so I know I kind of did a quick little walkthrough video of my uh, travel trailer already, but uh, now that I've spent some time in here, mostly just kind of tinkering and fixing some things up and whatnot, figured I'd give you just a kind of a, an in-depth tour of the travel trailer. So I guess we'll, we'll start at the front here. So there used to be a couch, an actual pink fabric couch right there. Uh, I removed it because when it folded out to be a bed, it only came yay big. It was big enough for one person to sleep on, but obviously I want to sleep in the same bed with my wife. So I got rid of it, and instead I put in one of these Intex inflatable couches. Folds out to be a queen size bed. Absolutely love it. Absolutely comfortable. So up top here. There's actually another bed with a bunk capacity of 150 pounds. Now I've gotten rid of the uh, uh, mattress that goes up in here. This is not going to be for sleeping. This is only going to be for cargo, for luggage. So, close this back up. So we've got a really cool table here. Uh, I'll put in some pictures of it if I still have them. Only because it's kind of a pain to fold out. But it folds out and then it slides out to about the middle of where this couch is. But the couch has to be tilted on its side in order to get that to slide out. I still need to take this and move it over. So here we've got our sink. Put this on the, uh, the dinette. Plumbing in here sort of works. Um, I need to get a new pilot light for the furnace, or for sorry, for the hot water heater. Other than that, it does work. Right now, I've only got cold water. Whatever, I'm fine with that. If I need hot water, I can boil it. Big deal. Uh, switch for the water pump. So up in here. We've got a microwave. Now, it looks to be like there's a plug in there, but there's actually not. Uh, this is a block off plate. There is wires run up to there, and they're capped off. Uh, I just need to find an appropriate plug in socket for it from the RV stores. Right now, they're kind of closed due to this whole COVID 19 crap. So, got a plug there and an extension cord going up to it. Range stove. It works, but it's loud. All gas appliance here, uh, or gas stove here. All four burners work. The oven works. I've had it lit. We've got a Dometic three-way fridge. It's 12 volt, 120 volt, and gas. Honestly, it's a decent size refrigerator for for a travel trailer of the mid 80s. Uh, this is an 86, if I'm not mistaken. So, behind the fridge, there's this dinette. It also folds down to be a bed. This is probably where we're going to be putting the youngest daughter. She's only a year old. So, with this down, we can put her, uh, her bassinet or her playpen up here. And she can sleep in that. Plenty of overhead storage all around this place. Storage down here. Obviously that's where the water pump is. The water tank is located just below that. And if my math is correct, it is a 30 gallon fresh water tank. Um, more cooking appliances. This bottom drawer, it's actually not a drawer, it's just a little cupboard storage uh, to get access to the air vents. Got the power converter here, which it will be getting replaced. Because if you look at that, only a 3 amp charge rate to the batteries, which is just redonkulous. So, some decent closet storage. It's got a cool little coat hanger rod. So, yeah, hang all of your, put all your hangers there. 
And then when you're traveling, you flip that over, it keeps the hangers in place. So we got a little bit of storage in a furnace. We'll get to that in a bit. So we got a couple of bunks, one there, one down here. And then below this bunk bed is some access from the outside storage and through, pass through there and the water heater. We'll step outside and we'll take a look shortly outside. And then the bathroom. The shower needs some work before it can get used. I'm going to take down all of this board because it's kind of peeling. But it's actually solid behind there, which is a bonus. I mean, that's all solid behind there, so I could easily just take this down, put in some beadboard, and good to go. Obviously, kitchen sink. Again, got the hot water bypassed. Toilet. Typical RV toilet, medicine cabinet, got a light switch there, which actually powers these so you don't have to use that top switch all the time. Um, I mean, it's pretty much it for, for inside. Oh, the furnace. This had an old gas furnace absolutely hated it so the only bit that looks kind of a little hackish is right there and that is because I took out the old gas furnace and I replaced it with one of these um, cheap Chinese diesel heaters um, honestly I've kind of used it a couple of times in here at night just to try it out absolutely love it this thing is incredible. Um, this will be in another video for a review. So we'll get to that down the road. I'm gonna step outside. Put my shoes on. Yeah, mine. It's a little windy out here. So got her all blocked up in my backyard here. So this is the water heater. Like I said, I need to get a new pilot um, orifice jet. Mine's plugged up pretty solid. And a new cover for this. Walking around the back side. I replaced the taillights that are on there with some LED housings because what was on there was cheap and brittle and it actually cracked on me. Walking around the other side, nothing too fancy. So we've got the power inlet, water, fridge, the old furnace outlet vent. It's kind of cool, there's a light out there. I need to find a lens cover for that. That's the range hood. Now this was storage at one point, which was storage underneath the couch. But as you can see, it kind of goes straight inside to where our couch the inflatable one is. Walk around to the front side. Nice big window. Propane tanks. Again, nothing too fancy. Now as for the diesel heater. I mean, I guess we might as well just get on with it. No point in a second video. Nah, no. I'll make a second video of it. So... That's just a, a walk around of the whole trailer. Full size spare. Anyways, catch you guys in the next video.